In this video, we will try to solve an important question regarding elasticity of demand. The question is like this. The demand function Q1 is equal to 50 minus P1 intersects another linear demand function Q2 at P is equal to 10. Okay, so we have two demand functions. They intersect each other when price is 10. The elasticity of demand for Q2 for demand function Q2 is six times larger than that of Q1 at that point when P is equal to 10. We have to find out the demand function for Q2. Okay, so basically what we are being given, let me try to grab this out here. Actually, uh, I'm just giving a rough sketch how what it actually means. Let us say we have this is D1. Okay, demand function one. We have demand function two. Let us say this is D2. Okay, they intersect at a point. Uh, let us say when price is equal to 10. Okay, we have to find out, uh, you know, the demand function for Q2. Okay, now what we are being given that we are being told, let us de denote elasticity of uh, elasticity of demand uh, for Q2 denoted by E2 is equal to six times the elasticity of demand for Q1. Okay, so we are being told that. Uh, demand function 2 is 6 times more elastic than that of Q1. Okay, now what is uh, the demand function for Q1? Q1 is being given as 50 minus P1. Okay, also at the intersection point uh, P is equal to P is equal to 10. Okay, what will be then Q? Q is equal to just plug P is equal to 10 here. We will get the value of Q is equal to 50 minus 10, which comes out to be 40. That means when the two demand functions intersect each other, uh, price is 10 and quantity is 40. Okay, I hope I make myself clear. Now, what is that? Uh, mm, you know the formula for elasticity of demand elasticity of demand for uh, this uh, q2 will be equal to the derivative dq2 upon dp into p upon q2 okay should be equal to six times we have six elasticity of uh, demand for uh, this very function is simply dq1 upon dp into p upon q1 okay so the relationship between uh, the two demand functions is given by their elasticities here now what is uh, dq1 upon dp dq1 upon dp that means we have to take derivative of this very demand function with respect to price okay so if we take derivative of this with respect to price that means dq1 upon dp comes out to be derivative of p1 is 1 so we are left with minus 1 okay so in place of this we can write minus 1 our p is 10 okay at the intersection of mm, when the two intersect q is 40 okay here also we have if this is 10 this is 40 okay let's write it then so we have dq2 upon dp into 10 upon 40 is equal to now this is a six in place of dq upon dp that is coefficient to here uh, which comes out to be minus 1 and we have 10 upon 40 okay so if we solve this it will come out to be let us uh, try to see so we can cancel these two things we are left with dq2 upon dp uh, into 1 upon 4 is equal to 6 ones are 6 uh, sorry uh, this is uh, 3 uh, 2 3s are 6 uh, 2 2s are 4 so we are left with minus 3 upon 2 okay or we can write it like this uh, if we integrate or le let us uh, put this dp on rhs so we have dq2 uh, 1 upon 4 okay is equal to minus 3 upon 2 if we transpose this will become d p okay now integrate this very demand function okay we integrate this very demand function on both sides now what is the uh, integral of dq2 
which will come out to be the integral of dq2 will be equal to we have here 1 upon 4 derivative of dq2 sorry integral of dq2 will come out to be q2 plus the constant of integration that is denoted by c1 should be equal to we have minus 3 upon 2 the derivative of d sorry the de, uh, integral of dp is p plus the constant of integration i actually explain it why does this constant of integration uh, comes uh, out from uh, in detail so you can check the my playlist on rules of differentiation uh, sorry uh, rules of integration you can find out uh, the uh, meaning of this c1 and c2 okay so uh, here i can only say that when we take uh, an integral i mean the indefinite integral we have to add uh, the constant in the uh, when we evaluate that very def, uh, indefinite integral okay so let's solve this out now we can do if we solve this for q2 here um, that means uh, let us cross multiply first here so 4 into c1 so we have 4 c1 plus q2 upon 4 is equal to 2 into c1 is 2 sorry 2 into c2 is 2 c2 Mm, then we have this minus 3p upon 2 okay so if we factor out here uh, 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 so we are left with 4 c1 uh, plus q2 and if we transpose this here it will get multiplied to each of these terms this becomes 4 c2 minus uh, 2 threes are 6 p okay now solving for q2 we have q2 is equal to 4 let me write uh, this uh, term first minus 6p then we have 4c2 if we transpose this uh, will get subtracted we have 4c1 that means q2 is equal to okay um, minus 6p if we take uh, 4 common we are left with c2 minus c1 okay now here we can uh, see when q1 actually when the intersect q1 is equal to q2 here okay so if we have quantity here price here at the intersection uh, point we have q2 is equal to q1 is equal to q2 is equal to 40 okay so when q1 is equal to q2 is equal to 40 at the intersection point we have also p is equal to 10 okay let's give these um, uh, values in this equation okay in this equation if we give the values so in place of q2 i can write 40 is equal to minus 6 into the value of p is 10 so i can write here 10 uh, plus 4 c2 minus c1 okay so uh, 6 tens are 60 transposing to lhs it will get added uh, so 40 plus 60 comes out to be 100 uh, is equal to 4 uh, c2 minus c1 or uh, c2 minus c1 is equal to we and we transpose this 4 it will get divided so 100 divided by 4 comes out to be shy uh, 25 okay so 25 that means the value of c1 minus c2 comes out to be 25 okay what we need to do we just need to plug the value of c1 minus c2 in this equation so our q2 is equal to minus 6p okay uh, plus 4 c2 minus c1 okay this term this term comes out to be 25 so we will write here 25 so q2 is equal to now 25 into 4 comes out to be 100 minus 6p if i just rearrange this this is our demand function for q2 okay i hope uh, this actually this is here uh, 100 minus 6p okay let us say actually uh, i just try to show you how does it i don't know which one will be flatter or steeper here okay so let us say this is uh, 60 60 rather 50 actually this should be uh, I'm just trying to show you graphically here. So if it is here, uh, let us say the intercept is here uh, 50 minus p. Okay, so we have here 100, 
100 minus 6p okay so this is q1 given us this is q2 given us okay i hope i make myself clear in this video if you like these videos please share with your friends that is only motivation for me to keep going on thank you